Hey, what's up, guys? Atlas Zero here. Today, I'm back with some more Shinobi Life 2. And today, guys, we're going to be going over something very important. It's going to be really helpful to y'all. This is going to be every single gen spawn location in the game. So, uh, this is something that there's... The only real person that has a really good video out is Benny. So, I wanted to make sure I help get the word out about these. So, I'm going to be doing one as well today, too. Uh, so... I'll be having all the times and all the gen spawn locations starting in, I'm not going to say chronological order as far as time goes, but as far as the tailed beasts go, yes. So we're going to start off with Shikaku, and um, guys, I have all but three gens right now, and I'm going to be showing some uh, gens off uh, once I really get get all of them i'll be doing videos on them so if you end up liking this video and it's helpful to y'all and y'all want to see more shinobi life 2 from me guys do me a huge favor go ahead drop a like and subscribe to the channel also go join the atlas zero discord where you can get together with more shinobi life 2 people uh from my discord and play and have some fun so guys let's go ahead and get in and start with shikaku so if you take a look guys here is the kage's mansion and we're basically just going to come this way and we really want to try to follow this path over here. Kind of come between this alleyway and land, hop from tree to tree, which I'm not the best at, to be honest. Uh, but we might, we made that one. Awesome. And then you want to come over here by these. You just want to take this kind of right turn. Because this is going to get you to the area where Shikaku spawns at. And you're going to want to go to this tree over here. And once you get over here, you should just about see this bridge, guys. Once you get to this bridge, it's right in this area. Uh, and you want to come over here where these pink pillars looking things are. And Shikaku's going to spawn in this area. Next, we have Matatabe. Uh, Matatabe, it's a little bit further than this the last one, but... If you look, here's the Kage Mansion for reference point. And we're just basically going to just jump down here and try to follow this road as best as possible. I mean, if you end up going in the grass or the water, that's fine. Uh, and then we kind of want to just hop down, take the water basically the rest of the way. I mean, you could jump through the trees if that's what you really want to do. Then when you come over here, come around this corner like this, and you'll see this kind of red bridge. Then you want to come... Up right here, I would say. And come right through here. And really kind of cross. I, I, sh I, did it, I should have did it a little bit different, but once you cross, boom. You see this blue wall and Matatabe spawns in this area right here. Our third gen is going to be Isobu, and he spawns in the Mist Village. So, for reference, you got your Kage Mansion right here, and basically you just want to follow the end of this bridge. Uh, you can take the trees if you would like. I like hopping the trees. And, see, got that bridge over here. And then if you get on this tree, and kind of uh oh, see in the distance. But uh Isobu I wanna say spawns right right around in this area somewhere. Uh right here next to the village. Um Let's see, I believe actually I believe it's a little further down to be honest. Let's see. Yeah, right around in here is where Isobu will spawn. Uh, so just basically take that bridge right here and he's gonna be around in this area. For our fourth gen, it's gonna be Son Goku and he is in the Rock Village. So if you look, there's the Kage Mansion. Uh, get with on this tree. You wanna kinda just hop over here to this one. And if I could land it, I missed the landing. <laughs> Y'all probably gonna realize that I do that all the time. Um, and then you want to get with this bridge, kind of with this bridge right here, and basically get on this tree and get you a nice little jump, jump going if you can get to this one. And then you want to kind of work your way over here on top. 
And then once you get on top of here, look like this. And you see that this area right here, this rock? Uh, Son Goku is going to spawn right, I want to say, on top of this gray rock, to be honest. Uh, it's been a while since so I've seen it, but it's definitely in this area. So if you come to this area, guys, you are going to see Son Goku. Uh, that is the fourth gen for the five tails. It's going to be in the rock village as well. It's going to be Koku. So you got the Kage Mansion right here. And then again, just get on top of these trees and go this way. So you technically want to go. I say get on top of the trees and I screwed that up again. <laughs> technically going to want to go the same way as Son Goku to begin with. And then you keep hopping with these trees right here, guys. I'm going to just kind of get on this one. Then to this one. And then you want to get up here. And roll this way. And you're going to find where Son Goku has... I think somebody's following me, trying to kill me. Um, Has spawned over here at this rock. So I guess you can actually go by where Son Goku is. But I'm going to kind of roll this way. And I'm going to get on this rock right here. You're basically going to want to go to the final valley because that is the area around where he spawns, Koku spawns at. Then will I make it up on this tree? Not, s well, that wasn't too bad. And then I'm going to want to go this way. My final valley is right here. If I remember right, uh, Koku actually spawns up in this area right here, which that is either one of these rocks but definitely if you come to this area guys you're gonna find koku yes my was uh following me but that is coke where koku is going to spawn let's move on guys for our six tails it's gonna be saiken and he is gonna be in the mist village so we're back to the mist and you basically just kind of want to do the same things guys you want to follow this bridge again i'm going to try to hop as many trees as i can cover as much ground as quickly as possible we might be running out of trees pretty soon, it looks like. So we're going to follow this bridge, and we're going to go down to the second bridge, which is going to be in this area, uh, just just this way, really. And Saiken kind of spawns kind of close to, um, to, who was it, Iso Isobu? Uh, I forget, I think that's who, who the other one is, right? Isobu? So I want to say Isobu spawns like right over in here. And then Saiken spawns over here next to the second bridge, guys. So the second bridge is where you really want to look. That is where Saiken is going to be spawning. All right, so that's the six tails. Let's go to the seven tails. For the seven tails, we have Shomei in the Sand Village. So for reference point, we have the Kage Mansion right there, guys. And basically, we're just going to go the same route as we took for Shikaku. Because uh, we have to go through that area. So uh, for those of y'all who are familiar with that, just basically take that route. Then we're going to come to this tree. Oh, I'm, oh, I thought I missed it. I was about to say, can we make this tree, though? All right, we barely made that one. And then let's keep jumping from tree to tree. All right, that one. So we really want to find some green trees, which that is going to be the area where the show may spawns at. Up to this one. And guys, I hope this is really helpful to y'all. Uh, make sure you do subscribe, guys. I'll be doing a lot more Shinobi Life 2 videos as they come. All right, and here is where Shukaku spawns. Now, we want to come over around this way. And we really want to try to get up in these trees, to be honest. All right, we're right in here. And then we want to focus on getting as high as we can to see where we want to go. Okay, so let's get in this tree. And we're going to be looking for some training logs. That's what I want to look for. So we should see some training logs right there. See these training logs right there? Once you look right there at those training logs, you want to hop to this tree right here. And then you have this big old tree right here. And under this tree is this grassy area where Shomei is going to spawn. Shomei is going to spawn right in this area, guys. 
So, I don't know if these dudes are sitting here waiting. Oh, that's a quest, really. Um, but guys, you want to find the training logs, and then you will see where Show May spawns. For the Eight Tails, it's going to be Gyuki, and it's going to be in the Cloud Village. So, there is going to be your Kage Mansion. So, if we come this way, I'm going to try to walk this wire as best as I can so I can get on this tree. Oh, I did it. So, basically, you just want to follow this tree. See the tree with the big scroll in it? You want to look that way. Then come over right here, guys. And then you want to hop here and do your best to make it to this tree. If you can make it to this tree, you got it. So, Gyuki spawns right in this open area right here, guys. This is where you're going to fight him uh, for the Eight Tails Gen right up in here. So, then we have Koruma the Nine Tails. Now, of course, Korma is going to be in the Hidden Leaf Village. So, here is the Hidden Leaf Kage Mansion. And we're going to... Let's see about doing some tree hopping. We are some tree hopping fools. Well, at least I am. Because I do not like to walk. Uh, tree hopping is a lot faster. Alright, I almost lost it there. So, we want to go out the city over the gate. Which is right there. Then we want to keep rolling you're going to get to this red building over here on my left. See over there on my left? And we want to keep hopping. Keep on hopping, guys. We're almost there. See the water? Oh, Lord, I done missed it. But you'll see that water, right? That water is where we are going to go for Kurama's spawn. I barely missed that tree. Did I say white water? I can't remember. Uh... But here is the Korma spawn area right over here, guys. Uh, this is where you're going to fight Korma. Uh, he is the Ninetales, and he has the highest rarity, I believe, out of all of them. And this is what he kind of looks like, guys. So, I mean, you got this awesome... Look at this. This Z-move. This Korma. Maybe I should have rode Korma. And you got the Korma's tail, Beast Bob, and all that stuff. Uh, but, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun bringing it to you all, guys. Hopefully, it was a lot of help. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. Help me out. Help this channel grow. Let's get 100,000 subscribers this year, guys. Uh, also, join the Atlas Zero Discord, and I might do some streaming on this soon. Thanks for watching, and God bless you.